Las Vegas. It's the Q covering EMC World 2016. Brought to you by EMC. Now here are your hosts, Stu Miniman and Brian Gracely. Welcome back to EMC World 2016 here in Las Vegas. You're watching the Cube. I'm Stu Miniman, joined by Brian Gracely. And EMC World, it, you know, started out really as the engineering teams coming and sharing with customers, you know, how things go uh, on the inside, how they're building products, get the feedback from the customers. Happy to have on the program for the first time Fidel Maruso, who's the SVP and general manager of enterprise and mainframe solutions in the core technologies division of EMC. Fidel, welcome to the program. Hey, thanks, Stu. It's great to be here. All right, so you. You know, a lot of your team is here yep. giving sessions, uh, been working on lots of product announcements. Um, talk about what, what, what brings you to EMC World and what your team's working so, on. So, you know, uh, the team, uh, in, in the middle of that long title, uh, the core team runs uh, Symmetrics, and so VMAX, and so most of the team are here uh, giving sessions around VMAX, VMAX All Flash, and VMAX Mainframe uh, on V3, which came out uh, last quarter. So. Um, I, I think they're uh, scheduled from nine in the morning until eight or nine at night, and uh, so you know some of them are engineers who have actually been here since the first conference uh, that was ever done on EMC World. So yeah, so so Fidelma, a lot of people have short memories. Yep. So uh, you hear the word symmetrics and you think back to you know the 1990s, uh, you know, but and even Vmax uh, has been around for a while. So. Bring us up to speed as to, you know, kind of architecturally and positioning, uh, you know, kind of symmetrics and VMAX are today. Yeah, so, um, you know, we tend to take the word VMAX and symmetrics and think old and antique and, you know, going, you know, n not really relevant in today's world. Um, you know, I can tell you that the customers I talk to, we run their mission critical applications and about Three or four years ago, we embarked on a journey to re-architect VMAX, uh, pretty much from the ground up. Uh, so a whole slew of uh, new hardware, new you know kind of off-the-shelf hardware, latest Intel processors, InfiniBand, but really the core structural changes were around the software architecture, and we took our Ingenuity operating system, uh, which has all of the reliability, availability, and serviceability things that we're known for uh, throughout the industry. Uh, we re-architected for what we call cloud scale. Um, but we're really what that was around was our metadata and making sure we had enough metadata to scale to cloud levels, um, you know, hundred, uh, thousands and thousands of devices, millions of devices, uh, adding in SNAP technology that had zero impact, uh, you know, on SNAPs, um, and allowing us to have an embedded container that could, you know, allow you to provide native file from the box, um, you know, native embedded management, and so, that architecture we came out in, in uh, 2014 with the V3 launch. Since then, we've been uh, incredibly busy um, leveraging the foundational aspects of that architecture and adding in a number of things last year in probably a very well-kept uh, secret at EMC, and it's hard to keep a secret in a big company, um, adding in flash technologies uh, into that architecture, and that founded the foundation for the VMAX All Flash, uh, which we launched on February 29th in London, so. Yeah, so I mean, Flash isn't new to, to the VMAX. I mean, I remember back in 2008, uh, our, yep. our, head, our head Dave Vellante said, you know, EMC throws a haymaker, and it was something that was heard around the storage industry. Um, so, I mean, you talked about three years of work and all the change. You know, how much of the code changed, you know? How, oh. how, how much really went into, you know, you know, that this is, you know, maybe only a name of VMAX? Yeah, you know? so we, um, you know, it is true, we're pioneers in Flash and tiering and, um, you know, over the last couple of years, what we noticed was, you know, flash capacities becoming bigger, um, flash uh, costs coming down in the marketplace, and, uh, you know, a number of things that we can do around our write caching uh, with write folding and write coalescing uh, to help optimize writes to the back end on flash arrays, okay? So it's uh, on flash, um, you know, it's a different problem to solving for spinning disk. On spinning disk, they're mechanical devices, they've got, you know, we've got 20 something years of history in knowing how oil leaks and all of those different things. And, um, you know, I'm not the best mechanical engineer around, but uh, on flash, that comes with its own set of problems, you know, where you have to really worry about how long it'll last and managing the right. So we spent a lot of time on, you know, innovating around our cache algorithms to make sure that we coalesce and fold rights going to the back end. Um, in addition to that, we added a lot of telemetry um, around looking at where you know, the wear out is going and looking at um, how we can get to lower rights per day drives 
and do that in such a way that our customers could still experience, you know, in fact, higher availability than they usually get from a VMAX. So, out of the code that changed, um, I would say uh, it was the Hypermax code that we brought out in, in V3, the basis of that was about 14 million lines of code uh, rewritten, and of that about five to six million around optimizing Flash, so a lot of code. Wow. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, we have a great team um, and probably some of the best uh, engineers, I would say, in the industry. And, um, you know, that combined with the price points of Flash, with the efficiency technologies around compression that we're bringing onto the platform, you know, kind of now makes it a question of not will I deploy Flash in my enterprise data center, but when will I deploy Flash in my enterprise data center? Um, and then we took all of our data services, layered those on top, and that has created a compelling value proposition for our customers. Yeah, beyond just performance, you yep. know, you've got experience from a tiering and a hybrid perspective, now an all Flash perspective. Beyond just you know, application performance, what other things have surprised you about customer use cases that are driving flash, you know, driving flash efficiency, all those things. So a lot of, a lot of things, are, um, you know, I've spoke to a lot of customers here this week and um, performance is kind of a given, you yeah. know, and, and, and it's funny, you ask someone, how much performance do you need for an application? And they look at you and they, they say, I'll take as much as I can get because I don't really know. Right. I don't really know when I, I'm going to get a burst. Yeah. Um, you, you only know when it's not enough. You only know when it's not enough. So, so that's the first piece. The second piece is, the TCO around Flash is really compelling. Uh, just came from a, a looking at a case study uh, where a customer had taken um, 11 uh, VMAX 40Ks, okay, and reduced them into one uh, VMAX all Flash array. Wow, uh, so the amount of real estate and the data center they're going to save, the amount of power, the amount of cooling, um, the um, you know you're going to have less replacements of drives with spinning disk is less reliable than flash, uh, all of that adds up to tremendous TCO savings for them. So they're looking at all of those aspects and then it becomes, it's an easier thing to manage. Yeah. You know, you don't have to worry about um, am I promoting or demoting data um, the, you know, the right way. We worry about am I spreading the load correctly to manage the wear. Um, but uh, the you know the customers don't have to worry about that and, and potential unpredictabilities. We're the leader in tiering, mm -hmm. um, but you know it, it is a more complicated approach than just having one single tier of, of flash. Yeah, well, one of the announcements this morning was around the the VirtuStream uh, yep. storage cloud. H how excited are you to be able to say to go to your customers and now say we not only have the best enterprise storage, we have the best enterprise storage cloud. You know, bring those things together. It's phenomenal, you know, we did a little acquisition in the enterprise, uh, this big long name of my group, whatever it is, but uh, you know, we basically acquired um, uh, a small company, Twinstrata, in Massachusetts uh, two years ago, nearly this summer, and at the time, you know, it was a very strategic acquisition for us because what it does is it allows you to have a gateway from any block storage device out to a public cloud. We now, uh, today, have support for VirtuStream on the back of that, um, and actually the only tier that we support in a VMAX All Flash is you have the Flash tier and you have a Cloud tier. So if you have cold data or data you want to move off, um, now you have the uh, ability to move that to either VirtuStream, a public cloud, an object storage through our cloud array. So, you know, we're truly, I think, bringing the value of hybrid arrays and, and this kind of flexible, agile, you know, movement of data back and forth, um, you know, to different clouds, especially VirtuStream doing that. Now, um, VirtuStream is particularly exciting because it's really focused on enterprise applications, right, right. and that's where our strength is. You know, that's what we do well, that's what we understand well, and, you know, having that asset uh, along with our enterprise storage is, it's, I think, a lot of value add for our customers. Yeah, it's, uh, VirtuStream's always been a little bit of a diamond in the rough. I think now that EMC is going to bring it to light, I think especially with the backup piece of it, it's going to get more and yeah. more visibility. Yeah, now. yeah, so uh, yeah, we've been working tight, tightly with those guys for the last, uh, not, Almost pretty much the last now. six to nine months, yeah. yeah. You know, I think they came in and, you know, it's... Put them, uh, put them to work. And, yeah, well, that's EMC, you know, yeah. it's... Uh, <laughs> so, so, so on the one end, we've got cloud. Yep. And at the other end of kind of the technology spectrum, how about mainframes? Is part uh, of your group, how, how yep. does that fit into the overall picture? How is that still relevant for IT so, today? So, you know, it's funny. Um, uh, it's, uh, this is, this is a, 
a technology that I think is going to be in people's data centers for as long as many of us are actually going to be on this earth, okay? So people trust it, they're relying on it with the new Z13 uh, business class series. There are other applications I think that uh, people thought they were going to rehost, that they're not necessarily rehosting now that uh, IBM is bringing down the cost of getting into the mainframe space. Um, so in at the, at the end of February, we announced mainframe support on uh, VMAX 3. And it isn't just compatible mainframe support, we also announced new uh, technologies like ZDP, so our, it's uh, basically a time machine, um, con um, you know, c uh, copies, uh, c persistent copies um, on uh, mainframe uh, to help, you know, kind of make sure that they can, uh, you know, tolerate logical corruption. Um, so that's uh, an innovation around there that we're doing. We're also, I'm also responsible for the um, disk library for mainframe. And uh, in that, actually, we are going to attach that. We're going to have a supporting cloud array uh, so that actually you can now take your backups to a disk library for mainframe and then move that data out to, a, out to an object store uh, you know, with, uh, with uh, our, our technology. So I think um, our mainframe business is vibrant. Um, you know, it's, uh, we have a lot of customers who are joint mainframe and open. Um, and they like to have the consistency of experience with one vendor, one platform, um, you know, kind of same manageability um, and the same kind of service and support behind it. So we're uh, alive and well, and uh, we think uh, this is, now that we have mainframe on V3, this is truly going to be a great year for us. Okay, so understand mainframe really is, I mean, the, the main platform for EMC with, with, with VMAX. Uh, VMAX is the one that supports mainframe. Um, when it comes to Flash, EMC has a lot of options. Yep. Uh, if I don't have mainframe, how, how do you guys position that these days? Um, so, you know, it's, um, so Flash, we've got, you know, we had tremendous rocket ship success uh, with Extreme IO. Um, very fortunate to you know, have that in the marketplace and be clearly the number one leader in all flash arrays. Um, now with the you know, kind of adding to the portfolio with VMAX All Flash and with Unity, um, you know, we're really moving into a situation where uh, if you, for instance, in the enterprise, you want your a VMAX customer, you like VMAX data services, um, and you want Flash because that is the media of choice uh, for people now moving forward, uh, then that's one option for you. If you want the best efficiency technologies uh, with deduplication and compression and extreme I.O., and clearly, you know, they're number one in the market, um, you know, for a very, very good reason, very simple to deploy, you know, then we have extreme I.O., and then with Unity, you know, you've got the file, you've got the, I don't know if you guys saw the new little brick that uh, Jeff has. Um, incredibly easy to use, incredibly easy to deploy. I think, um, you know, we'll see a lot of uptick there at the, you know, assuming we have the right pricing across the portfolio and then we support it all with our new uh, warranty model, ex expect more across the board, so. Um, so 2016, year of flash, you know, how fast do you guys see the adoption? Uh, so our, our CTO, David Floyers, you know, does the forecast out there. Economically, we feel we're about at the cutover, at the but, you know, these things usually take a long time. So what do, what's the viewpoint? So, you know, I worked for a very famous man in uh, the storage industry a number of years ago, and uh, his comment, and I'll always remember it, because I come from the server side of the world, and he said, uh, you know, in storage, things always move slower than you think until they don't, okay? And um, so, I, I think, you know, my personal opinion, I'm, I'm very bullish about the transition to flash, um, especially at the higher end of the, of the line. Um, and I, my range is, you know, I would say that I would expect to see at least 30 to 40% um, moving to all flash uh, by the end of this year. And more back end loaded as we come out with compression technologies. But I really think the commercials are there. Um, you know, it's moved from kind of this incubator status into, yeah. you know, kind of grown up citizen. And uh, I, I think it'll be very quick. Excellent. Fidel Marusso, really appreciate you sharing everything that's going on with kind of Symmetrics, VMAX uh, product lines. 2016, EMC said, is the, the year of all flash. So we'll be back with lots more coverage here from EMC World 2016. You're watching theCUBE. It's always fun.